Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Tanner Bell, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're in my studio, and we're doing a crafty hangout. This crafty hangout is in partnership with Dury's Crafts, and we are going to use their um, paper mache letters. And yes, these letters are this big. Um, I've pre-painted these so they would look like this, and we're using some Americana decor. My nose is itching me very much today. We're using Americana Decor Chalky Finish Paint, which is amazing. I'm in love with this paint, along with a pack of brushes from Dereese in this fancy holder. Now, I buy brushes a lot, and I never get a fancy holder with mine. So I thought I would show you. It's missing a few brushes in here, but I love using these, and we're going to use these in today's project. So if you know me and have watched some of the videos I post on my channel, I am super big into paper mache and splatter paint. So when I got these letters, um, my room was like an orange and black theme. So I was like, what if I did my initials, which is Tanner Bell, and I could do like a really cool splatter paint idea with this. So that's what I'm doing today. So I have, what you'll need is like a few brushes from Doris. I have one for my uh, orange paint and then one for the black paint and all I did was took some acrylic paint for the black and just added a little bit of water so it's a little bit easier to splatter with. Um, splattering is a pretty much a whole uh, technique in itself. It's really easy to do. and super fun. I really recommend kids doing it but just outside and in clothes they don't care about because even I've ruined clothes while spl splatter painting. It's nothing that you can like solve or help. Um, Anyway, I'll show you and talk about chalky finish paint a little bit, and we will jump into this DIY. So let me move my, my laptop camera down, and I don't want to get paint on my shirt. So we're going to move this down like so, and these letters are really, really big. So I'm going to work on the T today, which it's already painted this side, but we need to paint this side. So the Americana Decor paint is amazing, and this is in this color right here it's like an orange and I love it so I'm just gonna open this up and a chalk finish paint is great for furniture you can do all kinds of stuff with this and it uh, dries to like a chalk finish now some people might be was like is it can I write on this with like chalk it's more of a like an actual chalk finish so it dries very matte um, and it dries super quick too so you can use a foam brush for this you can use one of these brushes you know whatever you like but it takes one layer of paint to paint on paper mache, which is great because some other thinner paints take like a few layers and it's just annoying. Um, you know, other ideas to do paper mache letters like I've um, created in other videos, which still went off the backdrop of my video, is I wrapped this in fabric. So I thought that was pretty cool and it is just like a decoupage fabric onto a letter and here's sort of the back of that. So it's a really cool idea and I love it. So I'm just gonna continue painting this a little bit more. And this is very self-explanatory. And you can already see this paint up here is practically dry. Like I can touch this paint and it's dry. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to let this finish drying and I'm going to sit this over to the side. I feel bad because I normally feel like I have a lot of room on my workstation, but with these really big letters, I don't actually have that much space. So I need to protect my computer when splattering since I'm filming. So I'm just going to take some paper towel and put it on my keyboard and cover up as much as I can of that. But anyway, I took my little paint palette, which is so much fun. I love these paint palettes that you can pick up for like very inexpensive. And I just took some acrylic paint in here and made the consistency be very thin. So I just added like a drip or two of water. Do not oversaturate it with water because then it won't still have its nice black like color to it. It'll start to be more transparent. So then you want to pick up a little bit of paint on your brush and after this is dry and everything and you're ready to move on to the splattering, you just want to flick it onto the B and the T. Now you want to be careful if you're working on a surface that you cannot just like take some Windex and clean this off. Be sure to protect your surface with some craft paper, but mine's fine. So you just want to like do this and you can see it's sort of thick and I want to thin it down a little bit more. So I'm going to add some water to it, and let me just grab my water, and it just takes a very little bit. I want it to where it comes off the brush very easy, instead of having to like hold it or anything like that. 
So now we're going to stir this together and make sure it gets it all stirred up because you would hate for one side of it not to be um, the same consistency. So just stir this all up. And I think we're good. So I think this is a lot better consistency. And you want to have the technique and just splatter it down. Oh, I love that. I love the lines of splattering. And if you get any on your computer, you know, just make sure it's out of your way. And if you're going to splatter with us today, I encourage you to have a lot of fun. I'm in Tennessee, so I'm like totally snowed in right now. And it is just a blast to craft like in the on the afternoons. And this is a summer craft for kids because we were babysitting last summer and we thought splattering would be so much fun for them. And we had a blast. And I don't want to do too much splatter on this one. I did a DIY deer frame once, or it was like a deer head. And I do not want to get too much on it. So I'm just going to splatter this. And then you get the point and you just want to splatter this like so. I'm saying the same thing over and over. And you want to do this to the rest of your frame in your letter T. And then you're going to be finished. It's like super easy, easy peasy. And now you can hang this on your wall with some mounting foam and you'll have a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for new DIY videos each week. And check out Doris because they have awesome products and craft supplies. These paper mache letters are super inexpensive to order offline. Um, very, very inexpensive compared to other places that you can buy paper mache at. And I'm super addicted to paper mache because of the lightweight um ability. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to check out craftyhangouts.com for more videos like this, because it's like life crafting and a lot of fun. So bye! Ooh, I, did, I got a little faint on my, on my potential computer, but I covered it up, so that's pretty cool. Bye!